Um, yeah, there's another five gold in there. Danielus, there's more change for you. Okay, I'm taking it. Um, and a delirium chip, actually. Bulk, there's more <laughs> chips for you. Oh, delirium. <laughs> And we are back to Funky Quest. Deep within the bowels of the Rat's Nest Tavern, our party has just completed battle with a pack of ratlings. Uh, and have taken... Here. Yeah, and they've taken a hostage as well. Um, so this one... What did I call him? Uh, Pinkfoot? Pinktail? Pinkfoot? Pinktail? Pink yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll call him Pinktail. So Pinktail is a... Uh, disgusting little ratling. This one, as I said, is slightly larger than the rest, um, maybe just about six inches or so. The ratlings, I should say, um, they wear tattered clothing, really just rags. Uh, this one did have a crossbow, but he has since dropped it. Their eyes glow with a yellow, which looks like their original eye color, but it also hints with a tint of purple, that octarine glow as well. Hmm. The chamber that you are in currently, mostly dry, but there are certainly some muddy bits in there. Um, strewn throughout the chamber and the tunnels within is bits of unrecognizable filth, bone fragments, scraps of fur and cloth, bits of leaves and things like that. Completely dark. You guys have dark vision um, and bulk is um, uh, using the glass beaker. Uh, as opposed to his walking stick, which is what I was expecting, but in either case. <laughs> right, the whip's glowing around his rat's neck. We're fine. Same Indeed. pose. <laughs> Indeed. Can you do like a signal flare, essentially? What was that? Can't you do like a signal flare with your staff? No. No. Okay. I, I, I could like, I guess not. like imbue light <laughs> on like an object, but that would be boring. That's true. incredible. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on. Um, the air underground is humid, uh, reeks of rat urine and feces. Um, yep. But in either case, um, Pinktail, as he leads you forward into the tunnels, he says, um, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I will tell Red Prince. Red Prince will eat you up. He will eat, eat, eat you up. Who's I give him like a soft smack on the back of the head and like, shut up. Ah! Careful, he's low HP. I said a soft smack. <laughs> yeah, soft smack, acceptable. Yeah, so he says that. All right. Well, who's so the rat the prince? Grudges. Rat prince. He is our leader. He is big. He is strong. He feeds us. He feeds us the shiny. We all get big and strong. Why? You eat the shiny. Oh yes, we love the shiny. Do you How pass the you shiny, eat? or what happens to the shiny? Did you say, do you pass the shiny? Yeah, like, does it just, is it just in you? Uh, yes. Yes, mm. yes. Oh. He, the pink foot, or pink tail actually is confused. He's, it looks like he's kind of going through, like, what does happen to the shiny <laughs> after it goes through? <laughs> It's like he, he's never considered as, what digestion actually as is. As Pinkfoot's having an existential crisis, like, am I the shiny now? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so in either case, he he kind of walks you guys forward and you make it to uh, to this part, to this part of the tunnel. You can see that it veers off to the left and to the right. And Pinkfoot... Uh, or Pinktail. I don't know why I keep... I'm just going to call him Pinkfoot because I keep calling him that, apparently. Um, Pinkfoot lays on the ground and he says, I am so tired! Please, let's just take a break! Please! And he screams out. Uh, keep talking and you won't have to worry about needing a break. You'll have a permanent one. Do it, do it, Shiny? Oh, yes. I hold up a shard. Oh! First to the Get nest. Us. Ah! And he, uh, he walks forward um, in in this direction. Um, so as you, um, whoops, that's not what I wanted, but I guess that works. Um, so as you walk here, 
So you can see the full extent of the hallway there. And you can also see that there is a small, um, small burrow inside. He says, uh, oh, this is my nest. Should we do it? Like lean back for the other guy. Be like, I shouldn't have a plan for once we actually got here. I thought there was going to be people. Oh, um, this is just my nest. It's where I sleep. It's where I keep my shiny. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's shiny in there. Bulk, go get it. Is there shiny in there? One way to find out. Are you going in? Um, I will. Do you want the rat to go get it, or what's our plan? No, I asked if he wanted shiny, and he didn't answer. <laughs> I want shiny, please. Okay, here. <gasps> so you give him a piece of delirium. Yes, yeah, the shark. Uh, it's not in bed. So what? I think you have multiple sizes. Do you give him a shard? Or three shards that I got. Chips. 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 Sorry, my bad. Chips. Okay, cool. So you give him a chip. Yep. Cool. Um. So he takes the chip in his hand, and he immediately starts, <laughs> and he gobbles it down, and he. Uh. So Farron, you have him grappled now. Uh, I believe with the really whip, right? Grapp- I wouldn't say grappled, just more like it's around his neck. But... Yeah, you have him tied up with the whip? Yeah. Okay, he's going to try and make a break for it. Okay. Um, Let's see, what would you roll? I guess go ahead yeah. and make an attack roll with your whip, and All I'll right. roll um, acrobatics this. for him. Um, attack roll, let's see. Uh, natural 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, Pinkfoot, he uh, chews on the shiny. And he starts like shaking a little bit and he looks noticeably stronger. And I smack his ass to the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Please, why you hurt me, manling? Why you break away? I hate you. I'm tired of this rat. (laughs) Bring us. You're giving him a chip that's like, I don't even know how much gold. Right, why'd you do that, Bulk? Is this a pet? What are we doing with him? He's like twice your size, Bulk. Please, I need more shiny. You just add one. Is there, is there any in your nest? Ah. Uh, Bulk go wait, in there. Since... Wait. Why you? No, you can't. No, there's no shiny in there. Nope. 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 Farron's oh. gonna have to like r- hold him back. Like I was gonna say, uh, rat person, you try to break away again, you're dead. Ah, stay out my nest. <laughs> so Bulk, do you go in there? Why would I? Okay. Can um, I? Do we Marcus, need this? Do we need this rat? Marcus, meanwhile, has kind of walked forward and he's kind of sniffing in this direction. Well, there's a sign. Let's let's just go. What are we doing? Okay, like, I'm I just keep like. The I'm gonna go in the nest and I'm gonna poke it with like sift around with my sword. Sure, you're gonna check around. Um, mm-hmm. So this this nest is disgusting. I guess it looks like he uh, relieves himself here as well. Um, nice. so there's little bits of like broken glass and like papers like on straw and stuff that he sleeps in. Um, there is five gold pieces, but it doesn't look like there's anything else you see. Interesting. Okay, awesome. And he's hey, like r- he's like reaching out to the extent <laughs> of his leash. He's like, stay off my shiny. I'm gonna pick up the. He's like, because I'm up. I'm a scavenger. <laughs> okay, as soon as he starts calling out for help, I'm gonna try to punch him in the back of the head to knock him out. Like, I'm not trying to kill him. I'm trying to like incapacitate him. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say with the situation in hand, the way you have it, you do so. Okay, and then I was gonna like untie the whip and be like, "What are we doing with this rat? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is our objective? <laughs> you had him tied up. You guys told me to tie him up. <laughs> Who? Guys, right. Marcus is wandering off. Yeah, go I'm going up. after Barkus. I'm over this. And then I just like, I don't know. I I try to step over the rat, but definitely kind of kick him a little <laughs> bit on the side. Do you leave him? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have no plans to do anything with him. Be like, you guys made me drag him this long. What if you could finish him? <laughs> I'll, I'll give him a scoop. Fuck is a scoop. Hello, rat. He's like twice your size. Yeah. So, so... So the rattling has been knocked out by Farron. He screamed for help multiple times, and then he was knocked out. Chop. 
right in the back of the neck. Doodle chop. Wait, twice my size? Yeah, that rattling is huge, and also you're half your normal size. I am? You should hand it off to Millibot. Mm, I'm just going to walk after Barkus. <laughs> I'm just like, I yeah, just I'm Barkus. Barkus. Goodbye. Patrick, you're in charge of bulk as always. Oh, hell. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so Barkus has walked further to the north. You guys see another one of the little nests here. This one is also empty, oddly enough. Um, I'll go up and use my quarter staff and start pushing it fast, like moving all everything is sifting through it, seeing if anything falls out or if anything makes noise. Um, yeah, there's another five gold in there. Danielus, there's more shit change for you. Okay, I'm taking it. Um, and a delirium chip, actually. Well, there's more shit chips for you. Oh, delirium. <laughs> I take that delirium. As you guys continue to make noise and Barkus continues sniffing up in this area, you hear, and you guys can update your your space if you're moving along with him, but you hear a voice, a feminine voice from up ahead that says, What? Who is that? Is that? Are there humans? Help me. Hey, help me. From up ahead. Who's out? Okay. Let's you said go. it was a feminine voice. A feminine voice, yes. A damsel, maybe? In distress. Ew, a skeleton. Spooky. It was probably her. Um, so, laying amongst a pile of bones, bound up, so kind of tied at the hands and the feet, lays a woman dressed in the familiar green cloak of the hooded lanterns. Do you guys approach? What do you... Yeah, for sure. I'll... Marcus doesn't have hands. I guess I'll take the lead. <laughs> I'll sure. go up to try to unchain, untie on whatever binding they have on her. Sure. Um, so as you approach the woman, you can see this. She is the woman that you all saw yesterday in the city. Yeah, yesterday. Um, the Hooded Lanterns, who was leading that group on horseback, uh, who identified herself as Petra Eisner. How, how um, did you get stuck down here? As you lean forward and start to uh, unbind her, she is like, she's like shocked. Um, she's like, who who goes there? I can't see anything. Who is that? Uh, she can see me. The whip's out, so it has 15 feet down light. Oh, the whip's out? Okay, cool. Yeah, so you approach with the glowing whip. And she says, um, thank you for saving me. Please, quickly untie me. Yeah, I go to untie her. Uh, cool. So she kind of like stands up and and brushes herself off and she gets a good look at you guys and she says you get those guys from yesterday in the city yeah we ran into you briefly but where are all your men you had a huge group with you <sighs> she looks down and she was like they were they were killed by the rats but why did, why what, did they what the hell are you guys doing down here uh, we were on, we're kind of like merc mercenaries, what would you guys say we are? We were given a task. We're, yeah. We're shopping. Freelance. Down here? Yeah, we were sent to investigate this area. They believe there might have been a chunk of delirium that... Stop! They're... Stop! Yeah. Do, do you want to join us for now? Yeah, strength of numbers. Get you out of here? Why are you here? Price. What brought you to this in we didn't come here to drink if that's what you're asking well clearly we were investigating this colony of ratlings they've been attacking our base nearby to the north for months now that's what i was doing when i saw you guys we were tracking a hunting group of them back here but we were ambushed i was so careless yeah i think we found well, a piece of one of your cloths on a skeleton outside Whoever has that green scrap, whatever. Yeah, I have it. Who all was in your troop? There were eight of us. Well, seven, I guess, after you guys stirred up all those walkers in the city. But in either case, uh, 
yes, some of us were killed outside. The others were taken down here. We were kept captive. The Rattlings like to keep fresh meat to eat. I was the last one. I thought for sure I would have been eaten. Well, right, well, let's work our way out of here. Maybe we can clear out some of these rats along the way. If only you guys got here just an hour ago. You could have saved Malachi. Well, sorry about was, that. Maybe you should get in a car. What? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have gotten caught. You're going to blame people. And who is Malachi? He was one of my men. So it's your fault. He's your man. Never mind. Let's just get out of here. At, uh, least, at least you have your head. Let's work our way up. So she is um, visibly quite injured. Quick. You guys have a, a potion and a weapon. Well... We could go take those swords from that knocked out rat that we left in the hallway. Ooh, yeah. Um, so he's he, his weapons were left behind him far, oh. f- far back. Um, she uh-huh. she looks. Give me give me a bow or a sword or something. My, I'll give you one of my short swords. I'll need both of them. Oh, I mean, it, this is kind of like, you ask it for a bit much. We just untied you and you ask us to turn on myself. Or give me that crossbow or something. Listen, these rats are going to be crawling all over us. And she points to Bulk's crossbow. So, you said earlier you're Petra Eisner. I'm familiar with the family. If we help you, you will you pay us in reward? Listen, we're going to die if we don't get out of here. What are you talking about? Give me that crossbow. Oh, and a Baron, potion, can please. You, can, That's up Baron, to can you heal her? Uh, yeah, I will go up and I will do a healing hand on her. I will spend one key. And okay. it will, it's not going to do much, but it'll clear up some of her scrapes. Uh, it is going to do 1d4 plus 3. Let me just roll that real quick. Um, you guys can hear a chittering uh, sound coming from the tunnel behind you. She gets four hit points. Four hit points. Incredible. Okay, um, I'll, I'll give okay. her my short swords. Okay. But I want these her. back. Fine. No problem. All right. Well, we are pressing onward. Do what you do. Um, less responsible. So when. So she, she thanks you for healing her. When you when you met her earlier on horseback, with the way she spoke and carried herself, she had much more of a commanding and a mature presence. Now that you're up close, you see that she is still a teenager, like probably not even 20 years old yet. But yeah, she's got a, a thin athletic build, um, long golden brown hair, and she wears, like I said, the uh, green cloak and ranger's garb. Um, so she is armed with two short swords now, and she uh, urges you guys to... Uh, Let's get out of here. And I'm oh. going to whisper to Barkus to stay close to her and to not let anything happen. All right. So we just keep Let's pushing roll out. forward. As you guys... Well, funny that you move that way. Um, as you uh, move in that direction, you can see that there are a large gathering of ratlings approaching you. We'll go ahead and roll for initiative. Um, so yeah, you guys back can move yourself can back. Move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we move yeah. uh, Dietrich up with us? Yeah, I will move him. Um, I'll kind of like put you guys so back we're there. To move back. Yeah, go ahead and move back. Uh, I got a twenty-two. I got a five. We'll call this mm. one G. Rattling's approaching. We'll move. Where do you guys want Dietrich? I'll put him out front. How about that? That looks. How about that? So give them to me one more time. I'm sorry, Farron. 22. 22. Bulk? 5. Danielus? 18. 18. And Diedrich Steelbelly? A 15. Okay, cool. Um, And then my Rattlings. Oh, boy. They're rolling hot. Um, Cool. So initiative order. Um, It's going to be Farron. It's going to be this large group group of Rattlings. And then Danielus, uh, Diedrich... Bulk, and let me see where uh, Petra's going to go. Um, Petra's actually going to go after uh, after Farron. Oh, no snap. Um, okay, Farron. So, start us off. So, what you can see 
Um, coming down the hallway are just the uh, chittering, ravenous sounds of rattlings, and they are bearing down towards you. What will you do? I'm going to move forward by 10, 15. I'm going to just straight up club this guy, hopefully, in the head, smacking him down to the ground. Let's see okay. if he can yeah. live through it. Ooh, natural one. So that's going to whiff. Okay. Um, then since, uh, actually, I will do an unarmed strike. Just keep it safe. Okay. Uh, actually, it's going to miss. I rolled a nine. And... Uh, you rolled a nine or you got... Okay, I, I rolled a nine to hit, so yeah, it's not going to hit. Gotcha. Yeah, that doesn't um, miss. Uh, I can't decide if I want to stay here because there's going to be so many hits. And they all... <laughs> Yeah, Diedrich's not here, so I'm gonna allow an, an opportunity. I'm gonna allow an opportunity <laughs> attack. <laughs> Incredible! I'll, I'll let Brad G hit me on my way back. Uh, he gets a natural one. Oh, that works. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Petra is gonna go ahead and run forward. She's a boss. She kind of gives off a scream. She's like, "I'll kill you! I'll make you pay!" And she uh, kind of runs forward and whiffs pretty big time. Um, <laughs> and then she says, actually, maybe not. And then she runs back behind Deidre as well. And he can't, <laughs> uh, they can't take opportunity attacks. <clears throat> All right. So basically, we're going to see these guys run a train on Diedrich. I hope he uh, <laughs> will see what happens. You know, sometimes that's just how it be. Um, yeah, so what you can't see is that these ratlings have burrowed a little tunnel in between the two nests. But these, they're like piling in so thick into the tunnel that only two of them are going to be able to come up and hit Diedrich. Uh, we'll say three. How about that? Um, so I get not a hit. Not a hit. Holy shit. Damn, everyone's rolling like crap tonight. And one hit against Diedrich. Um, so that's going to be four damage. DJ takes one, two, three, four. Huh. And then these two are going to try and swing at Barkus. Uh, there's my dice. One hit. Oh, one hit. Okay, incredible. Um, four damage oh. to Barkus. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so you guys actually didn't even see them come up from behind, but you suddenly hear Barkus cry out. And, uh, and you can tell that um, hits were made. Um, taking us down to Danielus. Okay, I'm going to draw my long bow, and I'm going to say fair and help Barkus, and I'm going to help uh, Diedrich, and I'm going to draw it, and let's see, I roll a 15. 15 hits. <clears throat> okay. Against GI, I imagine? It does. It does eight. Okay, yeah. what happens? I say, well, I guess Diedrich doesn't even have to duck, but I just draw it into <laughs> a piercing one right in the head and drops him where he's at. Nice. And then Anything Marcus else? is gonna Marcus is gonna attack D. Go for it. Ooh, 20 nat 20 plus 5, 25. Nice. So there's no way this guy doesn't die. Uh yeah. what happens? 14 crit. 14 crit. He just kind of pounces on him and just does the thrashing thing again and just kind of like nice. flings him and chucks him at the wall. I like it. Cool. So one. That is G and D who are destroyed. Brilliant. Riley, the Danielus crew is taking names. <laughs> yeah, not a moment too soon. Um, Diedrich Steelbelly, he is going to step up and he says, I'll handle this. And he's going to go ahead and give a swing with the old Maul. Getting a 18 to hit and I'm not even going to roll the damage because there's no way he doesn't kill it. Um, so Diedrich kind of steps forward into the maw, and he can barely even get enough space to swing his maw over and around in the cramped tunnel, but he does, in fact, destroy one of the beasts, um, taking us down to bulk. Oh, yay! Ray of Frost on F. Um, okay, go for it. Nine. Uh, nine's gonna be a miss tragic um and then millie bot can use her millie blast okay she can do so indeed oh a consecutive nine <laughs> you add something to it though right yeah th uh it's three uh so 12 thought it was six right is it oh, okay yeah six 
In either case, it's a hit. Okay. Roll that damage. A four. D uh, three. A four to F. Uh, okay, it hangs on by a thread. That's all I got. Okay, cool. Um, that takes us back to the top of the round with Farron. All right, Farron's going to move forward, try to clock this rat, do a good old pip smack with his uh, quarterstaff. Nice. That's going to be 18 to hit. And 18 hits. Uh, it's going to do don't... eight yeah, bludgeoning. He's, he's dead. <laughs> All right, and then he's going to move the rest of his movement, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I think, to get there. And then I'm going to do a, uh, what is it, an unarmed strike on the E. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a 24 to hit. It hits. And it is going to do seven bludgeoning damage. Cool. So how do you? So you're just running around the battlefield. You take out two rats. What happens? Uh, first one pit smacked to death. I'm guessing he's gonna get impaled on one of those bones that's over there. And then <laughs> second one just palming this other rat. I guess his nose bone to the brain. And nice. then <laughs> going to move forward with my last movement to get right up on this rat guy, hoping that maybe Ooh. he won't be able to use his crossbow. Hoping, Good but call. we'll see. Good call. Um, he indeed cannot use his crossbow. Petra is, uh, she's going to hang back um, and say, uh, you guys are going after them? We should get out of here. And she'll pass her turn. Um, she'll ready in action, just in case anyone anything else comes up. Uh, maybe she'll even watch the uh, southern entrance here. Um, but in either case, that takes us to the ratlings, I believe. I just have these two left. So they are going to full-on start to escape. They say... Uh, they weren't expecting. They were expecting to get the upper hand on you guys, but they are look like it's not going too well. Um, so this one is going to kind of start running through the tunnels. So he uh, runs back this way. As soon as he leaves, can I take an opportunity action? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, I'm going to try to clock him with my quarter staff. Go for it. Uh, it's going to be a twelve to hit. A twelve does hit. Uh, it's going to do six bludgeoning. <laughs> well, what happens as he starts to skitter away? <laughs> um, as, as soon as he takes his eyes off me, another just pimp smack to the back of the head. Whack! <laughs> Doing a little, like, nice little, like, twirl motion above. <laughs> nice. I don't know how many chops you've uh, you've executed in this uh, in this battle just, so far. Just wait till Farron starts throwing some chunkless. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, so first the tiny rat's gonna go, and he's gonna attack you, Farron, and he misses. Um, so our... Sniper here. Um, does he get? Uh, yes, he does. Uh, okay. So with pack tactics, he's going to uh, go ahead and attack go. you. Um, getting a twenty. Oh yeah, that definitely hits. So that's the first hit, and then an eighteen on the second one. Oh, yeah, they both hit. Um, so you take five plus seven, so twelve. Okay. And then another five, so 17. <laughs> okay. 17 damage there. So after they do that, so you've used your reaction. So they're both yeah. going to run away and they're going to skitter away uh, back further into the nest, saying, I thought this would be an easy meal, run away. And they've kind of run out of your, uh, out of your view. Okay. Um, but in either case, you've taken care of pretty much all of them in the vicinity. Um, we can drop initiative order unless you guys are chasing after them. Uh, I'm not going to chase after them. Yeah, 